Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the difference between actual and formal parameters. So, already in the previous session, we have discussed the concept of actual and formal parameter. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. So, if you understand the concept, this difference, you will make it easy. The actual parameter is used in calling function and the formal parameter is used in called function. The calling function is used in main function and the called function is nothing but the user defined function. So, for example, if you are considering result is equal to add of a comma b. This add is nothing but the function name and within bracket we have to specify the parameter list. And here we have specified two parameters a and b. So, the parameters used in function call. That is nothing but the actual parameter. And this parameter will hold the values entered by the user. And this values only will be sent to the corresponding formal parameters. And here if you are considering the formal parameters, the formal parameter is used in function header of function definition. So, this is nothing but the function header. Okay. And here int add of int m comma int n. So, this int is nothing but the return data type of this user defined function. Add is nothing but the function name. And within bracket, we have to specify the formal parameter list along with its data type. And here, one thing we need to remember, the number of actual parameter and the number of formal parameters should match. And also, the data type of the formal parameter and the data type of the actual parameter should match. If you have declared this A and B as float data type in main function, and in formal parameter, if you have declared int in the sense, this parameters will not match. Okay, so this will raise error only. So, the number of parameter and the data type of each parameter should match in actual parameter and formal parameter. Okay. And here in actual parameter, it is not necessary to mention the parameters along with its data type. So, this is the first difference. And the actual parameters can be constants or variables or expressions. That is add of a comma b. So, this a and b are nothing but the variables. Okay. So, this is the actual parameter. So, we can use directly variables in actual parameter or otherwise add of a comma 7. The 7 is nothing but the constant. In actual parameter, directly we can send the constant value to the formal parameter also. This is also valid. Or otherwise, a plus 2, comma b. So, this expression also we can use in actual parameter. For example, if a value was 3, in the sense 3 plus 2 is 5. So, here in this place, 5 will be sent to the formal parameter. So, the actual parameter will send the value 5 to the formal parameter of its corresponding variable. Okay. So, here in actual parameter, we can send constants or variables or expressions also. All three ways we can able to send values to the formal parameter. And in formal parameter, if you are considering, it should hold only variables. That is, for example, int add of int m comma int n. This is valid. Okay. And this one is valid. Here we have used only variables as formal parameters. This expressions and constants is not allowed in formal parameter. That is m plus n. This is wrong. Or constant directly the value if you are using in the sense this is also wrong. Here we don't know the value. This value it has to receive from the actual parameter only. The formal parameter internally, it does not have any values, okay. It will copy the value of its corresponding actual parameter only. 
for that purpose only we are using formal parameter okay so formal parameter will not hold any value and if you are using expression in this sense this m plus n how it will hold the value sent by the actual parameter it is not possible okay so here in formal parameter we should not use expressions or constants only the variables is allowed this is very important we should remember always so this is the second difference and a third difference if you are considering the actual parameter only will send the values to formal parameter and the formal parameter will only receive values from actual parameter okay so here for example if you are considering add of a comma b so this what is the value of a that will be sent to the corresponding formal parameter m okay already we know the name of the actual parameter and the name of the formal parameter it is not necessary to match the place only it will refer okay so the first actual parameter value it will copy to the first formal parameter variable and the second actual parameter value will be copied to the second formal parameter variable okay in that way only it will take it is not necessary to match with its name okay so here what is the value of b that it will be copied to the formal parameter n so this is in second place so it will copy to the second parameter okay that is the meaning and here instead of variables we can use directly a or 7 that what is the value of a that will be copied to m and 7 will be copied to n in this case and in the third case if you are considering add of a plus 2 comma b so this expression will be reduced to a single value and that value will be copied to m and the variable b value will be copied to m so the variable plays it is very important the actual parameter and formal parameter will match with its variable place and the actual parameter if we are considering instead of sending the values we can send address also that also already we have discussed for example add of ambassan a comma ambassan b this ambassan symbol represents the address of a and address of b and here if you are using the formal parameter int add of int m comma int n so here if you are sending the address of actual parameter in the sense the formal parameter should be declared as a pointer variable so that is important okay so here the address of actual parameter can be sent to the formal parameter and if formal parameters contains address in the sense they should be declared as pointers so here the what is the value stored in the address of this memory location a that value will be copied to m what is the value stored in the address of memory location b that will be copied to variable n that is the formal parameter n so here if you want to refer the address in the sense we have to use the pointer variable so we have declared here as a pointers so here the simple logic of ambassan symbol that is the address symbol represents in that memory location what is the value stored that it will refer and if you want to access that value in the sense that variable should be declared as a pointer variable so that star m star n likewise we are using so this pointer represents directly it will access the value stored in that address it will consider that address but we don't take that address in that address what is the value stored that it will take it that is the purpose of pointer variable so here instead of dealing directly with the variables we are dealing with the address that is the memory location okay so that is the main advantage of this pointer variables it will refer in that memory location what is the value stored so here the actual parameter will send the address and the formal parameter as a pointer variable it will refer its address and in that address what is the value stored it will take it and the actual parameter if you are considering it is otherwise called arguments and the formal parameter if you are considering it is otherwise called dummy parameters so in this session we have discussed the difference between actual parameter and formal parameter 
in the next session we will move on to the next important topic in functions that is parameter parsing techniques there are two important parameter parsing techniques in c one is called by value and another one is called by reference both of the techniques we will discuss in detail with example thank you for watching this video 